I'm Jason Pither. I'm an associate professor in biology cross-appointed with Earth, Environment and Geographic Sciences at the Okanagan campus of UBC. I'm an ecologist. I do research across a broad range of things ecological, but I also do a lot of outreach and engagement around open science. Open science can mean something different to a lot of different people, but in general, I like thinking about it as a methodology and almost a philosophy around how we do science. It's a way of doing science that is done and communicated in an honest and transparent and accessible way, and especially in a way that ensures that someone could independently reproduce the results that you get. And everything that we've been working on recently has been around that emphasis on reproducibility and rigor in science. The open side of it, you know, the transparency, is part of the solution to making sure that the science is rigorous because when you're transparent from the outset, you tend to be more honest with yourself and with others. And there's also transparency around uncertainty and how to do things, especially undergrads and graduate students who are learning how to do science sort of from, from scratch. It's rewarding that uncertainty positively and making sure that they're open, honest about that uncertainty so that when they finally get that proper advice and the training, the science that they do is going to be rigorous as well. An institution like UBC, that research intensive institutions, first of all has to be a bit of a collaborative affair obviously, but the library really has a central role to play, primarily because librarians have the expertise around the information literacy. Us scientists think that we sort of know how to deal with data properly, how to disseminate properly, how to communicate properly, but in fact it's the librarians that really know all of the ins and outs of that. And in the information age especially, with open data, with big open data, we really need that expertise and it's the librarians who provide that. Open data is one piece of the puzzle of open science. We're talking focused on research data, some of which should never be open because of privacy uh, concerns, but by and large most of the data we collect as researchers, if we make it open, some reasonable stage along our workflow, it means that other researchers can independently verify your findings. It means that your data are discoverable and usable by others. It advances science in ways that maybe you didn't anticipate. The library is the natural sort of home for a lot of, of the key infrastructure and, and support services, but supported peripherally by research services, by the advanced computing group and so on. But it, it definitely is a collective effort, especially now in the social media age, it's, it's too easy for perceptions to go sideways. And so the more that we have at our disposal to ensure confidence in the science that we do, the better.